My name is Martin Emsley. I am a composer and musician in Somerset, although I originally came from Lancashire. I've been interested in music of all different sorts, from rock music to musical theatre to um, work, uh, choral work, both within and outside the church. Uh, a few months ago, I came up with the idea that it would be really good to have a look at the most famous story of all, that of the death and subsequent resurrection of Christ. And so I started working to uh, write an oratorio, specifically so that choirs and choral societies who might find some of the more complicated uh, pieces of music a little bit beyond their um, aim could have a go at doing this fabulous story. Everybody knows the story. It's the story of when Jesus comes into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey and then he has the Last Supper and the bread and the wine and then he gets arrested by the authorities and he goes to Pilate and all the rest of it. But why was this happening? Who was actually manipulating who? Did Jesus want to be crucified? Yes, I think he possibly did because he wanted to be resurrected. That was God's will. And without the resurrection, the crucifixion would have meant nothing. But how could he get himself crucified so everybody knew that he would be dead? And once they knew that he would be dead, then the miracle of the resurrection would then mean something. The reason I've called it Omega and Alpha and not Alpha and Omega, which everybody expects, is that Omega stands for the end and Alpha stands for the beginning. And I'm asking the question, was the end of Christ the beginning of Christianity? And where do those two events relate to each other? You cannot start anything new without finishing something old. It's very difficult from a musician's viewpoint because actually during the story all the characters are male with the singular exception of Mary who appears in the Bible actually at the base of the cross. So I've used a female voice to act as a narrator of the story and then she converts into the character of Mary at the point of the crucifixion. I've also got a single voice, a tenor voice Saying, uh, singing the part of Jesus. But then I've amalgamated all the other characters into one character, who perhaps for better conversation you could call the objector. And this is the person who is objecting to what's happening to Jesus throughout, be it Caiaphas the high priest, Pilate, Herod, Peter, or indeed Judas. The, the three soloists, firstly in the soprano role, um, uh, Marta Fontenot Simmons is a girl who lives, who, whose parents live close to I, where I am. And uh, Marta is currently training at London Guildhall and, uh, in opera and has got a marvellous voice and I'm sure we will all be hearing a lot more of Marta in the future. Singing the bass baritone role is Gerard Del Rey who is, sings a lot in both London and internationally for the English National Opera and various people around. He's got a marvellous Wagnerian type of bass baritone voice. The tenor soloist is Jonathan Ansell, who came to fame as the lead tenor in the group G4, who came second in the first UK version of X Factor. Uh, the group split a number of years ago and since then Jonathan has gone on to forge a very successful solo career. I'm really looking forward to meeting the th uh, with the three of them in front of the orchestra and choir and working the, their particular magic of this particular work. Although this is, was originally written for small choirs, um, for the premiere, we're pulling together a large choir, a choir of about 120 singers from all over the place, 
um, based on the choirs which I run, uh, people who I've done work with in the past, and even from Yorkshire, there is a choir from Yorkshire who is coming down and taking part. Hopefully that will be about 120 people. Uh, I have written the oratorio that it can either be performed with an organ, a normal church organ, or it could be there's a full orchestral version. For the premiere we're doing the full orchestral version and I'm putting together um, an orchestra with 46 members and they're all local musicians. I've never done anything on this particular scale before, although I have conducted on many occasions orchestras and many occasions choirs and shows and, and musical theatre. But this is on a scale that I had never thought would, uh, I would ever do. And in the fabulous um, acoustics of Wells Cathedral, uh, where we will be doing the premiere. Um, it's hugely exciting, hugely frightening, um, but yeah, it's a challenge which I'm really looking forward to.